So we started this challenge because so many of you were sending us pictures of what you were making and selling from our scraps. And after we received one of the coolest things ever in the mail from David McCabe. This little tray right here. This is our scrap. He made this from our scraps. And we thought, what a great idea to see how creative our viewers are and see what they can make and sell from our scraps. So we officially launched the Samara Table Company Box of Scrap Challenge. Hi, if you've never seen us before, we're Jenny and Davis. We own Samara Table Company and we are headed to the top. We're trying to grow this thing into the next big furniture company. Around two months ago, we challenged everyone who wanted to participate to get a box of scraps and be as creative as possible and show us what you could make out of our trash. The winner will receive a $250 gift card to their home improvement store of choice. We wish we had more. We reached out to a bunch of sponsors and nobody wanted to support you, but we support you. We so, support you. <laughs> maybe next year. So without further ado, let's jump right into the submission. Here we go. She hasn't seen them. I sort of have. We're just gonna duke it out and figure out who wins. So here we go. First up is Nick Hoda. Okay. This is what Nick started with. Okay. Yeah, lots of glue ups. So he got a box full of lots of strips. So those are the strips that we use in our cutting boards. So that looks like a lot of maple and cherry. And he did some work on the bandsaw and he yes. did some stuff over here and some clamps. Okay. Pay close attention. What do you think he made? Can you tell? So I'm thinking like maybe bending? Maybe movement? I don't know. No! Right? What? That's made of wood. That's made of one No, no, no. Go back. Piece. Go back. Go back. Yeah. Okay, go forward. Started with that. Ended with that. That's really cool. He only glued it in one place. The whole thing is just bent and wrapped around that little plastic test tube what? or whatever. What? And that's what you use as a vase. Nick, that is really cool. So that's Nick's entry. A uh, little bit about Nick's entry. This is a go-to design for him that sells really, really well. And this is the perfect example of what we think really shines on Etsy. Yes, yeah, that's a really Tell good point. So on Etsy, there are so many people doing the uh, same thing. Yes, the, the same, same thing. thing. I can't think of a nice way to say it. There's so many people doing There's the same thing. Not. There's a lot of people out there doing cutting boards, a lot of people out there doing charcuterie boards, doing boxes, doing whatever. But this is so different that it stands out from everybody else's because I've never seen a vase like that in, in my life. And I think that's really pretty. So we always recommend Etsy for very specific, unique, Neat. detailed pieces. Great job, Nick. Awesome. Starting us off strong. These are all in chronological order. So oh. this is the order in which everyone submitted. So Nick was first to the Nick punch. Nick was first to the punch. Okay. All right. Ready for the next one? Next one is James. James. This is what James started Aww. with. Okay. So a cardboard box. Oh, come on, guys. I told you to be creative and no <laughs> one used the cardboard box. I was a little disappointed. I thought somebody would come up with that idea. But. Oh my goodness. Okay. So it looks like he got, he got a good box like two of a, a variety of strips and larger pieces. Yep, an old cutting board, some cutting board ends that were cut off, and then a big chunk of maple, which he has circled. Do you yes. know what he made into that? No. Or made that into? Mm. I can do words. Okay. Ooh. So he made quite a few projects. Yeah, so that's what, three different things? Yep. Yeah, okay, so it looks like a frame. But he used a lot of the cutting board cutoffs to make this little pencil cup. Yes. Looks really cool. I love the checker pattern that the cherry and maple creates. And then, of course, he glued up a bunch of the other off cuts uh, in a line and made an end grain cutting board. Yeah, that's really so nice. That's Big really neat. Butcher block, that's really cool. Uh, the maple thing up at the top, he said he was almost done with the, that project, but he just ran out of time. He didn't really know what to do with it. So um, anyway, that's it. He's got two and a half entries okay, into got the it. contest. That is yeah. a very fancy pen holder. That is a very bougie. All these three, like holder. all these things look really nice. Yeah. Good job, James. Yeah, excellent work. All right, next up is Chris in Maryland. All right, Chris. Okay, funny story about what Chris in Maryland got in his scrap box. So if you look in the upper corner, you can see there's an old cutting board with a lot of super random engravings. Like we've got Pikachu. wine, we've got Pikachu, we've got a jack-o'-lantern. We did a pop-up, like a pop-up event, like a little booth at a coffee shop here. You guys saw that video. In Houston, yeah, you guys saw that video. And that was the board we were using just to like draw people in. We were like engraving things and that would catch people's eyes right as they walked into the store. Um, people like blinky lights. They and do. You've got a big laser making a lot of blinky lights that draws a Pikachu. You're probably <laughs> going to get a conversation. Yes. So that's, that's awesome. There's a, there's a lot of story involved in that box. And uh, we just threw it in the scrap bin. So 
Uh, that and a bunch of walnut. We'll see what yeah. Chris okay. made. Ready? Chris made Ooh. all these mallets. So he just sent us the pictures of the best ones, but okay. he made, I don't know, half a dozen mallets or so. Really? And it's his first time making mallets. They look really nice. Look at the joinery at the top. That was your first time making yeah. mallets? You get to see the split um, handle in there. Yes. I don't know. A, a mallet, if you don't know, is sort of a rite of passage for woodworkers to make. It's one of the first tools that you get to use that you made out of wood. And so it's just really cool to like make your own tools. And, yeah. Um, Great job, Chris. That's I really awesome. like how the bottom center one, he used, utilized a lot of the sapwood in the walnut for like color variations. Yeah, the color variations are great. Looks very nice. Next up, we have Ben Van Kirk. Yes. There's supposed to be a space, I think, between Van and Kirk. Sorry. So he got a, he got a box full of walnut. He must have gotten one of the boxes that um, we were packing after we had made a bunch of walnut charcuterie boards. You can kind of tell where we were in the building process based on the <laughs> what what scraps people got. Like, oh, we had just made a bunch of cutting boards. Oh, we had just made a bunch of charcuterie boards. That is what Ben made. That that's cool. Isn't that neat? So it's like a. What? And he's got it's, the splines. He's got splines he on the made, back of this Jenga set. He made set. luxury Jenga. Luxury Jenga is what Ben Van Kirk made. That's awesome. Isn't it beautiful? And the blue epoxy. I love how the light hits the blue epoxy. Do you see that one on the left? Yeah. It looks like aqua. That's really pretty. All right. So we're going to watch some of his video. Okay. Okay. And he wore a Bucky and shirt. And he wore a Bucky shirt. Should we give him extra points for you know wearing a the, Bucky shirt? You know the way to our hearts. <laughs> this can't just go in any old place. This is like fancy Jenga. No, oh, this is beautiful. You can check out his video. We'll link it below. But um, he really wanted to uh, embody the be together mantra of Samara Table Company, our yeah. business. And so he wanted to make something that was luxury and that brought people together. And I think that pretty much hits the nail on the head. Yep, I would agree. So great job, Ben. Next up, we have Josh Grafton. Joshua. Joshua Grafton. Joshua Grafton. Another YouTuber also mm -hmm. has a video. Um, Joshua, we have to disqualify you. Um, this is a family friendly channel, so I don't know what you were drawing <laughs> there, but um, anyway. This is awesome. So he got a lot of cherry. Yes, he got a lot of cherry and uh, look what he made. Oh! He made so many projects. Oh! Just from that little bit of scrap. So he did use that piece with the big knot in it. Yes. I was looking at that. I was like, either that's going to get tossed. Do you know what this tossed. is? Do you know what this is? Um, it's a um, the cheese the slicer cheese thing. Slicer. So you can play dumb. You can make me feel smart every once in a while. <sighs> I'm sorry. I just I see the handle and I watch too much charcuterie Instagram and TikTok. That's how I. That's how I know. I can't win. That is a cheese slicer. And guess what? <laughs> cheese slicers are selling like crazy right now. Um, we've got a couple people in the stud stack that do craft shows and they are selling out of cheese slicers. I guess cutting boards are out, cheese slicers are in. That's because so, charcuterie is in. Yeah, even more than it already was. Um, it's just still in. It just hasn't gone anywhere. I think people are getting better at trying to do it themselves now, which is why they want nicer things like cheese slicers and like better knives and stuff. Yeah, that's beautiful. And the soap holders. How did he make the soap holders? So he made that and the soap he made with his son. Oh, fun. So that's pretty cool. And the soap holders, um, we got a video here, but yeah, he just made that in a little vanity tray. Um, very creative. I love mm -hmm. how he used the knot and didn't mm -hmm. just like cut it away. Very nice. Next up, we have Matthew Hamilton at Woodland Vines. Okay. So um, I think he sent us a reel that he made. So um, you can okay. go check that out. Yeah. But this is what he started with. He started with a cutting board, two tiny little pieces of walnut, uh, some cutting board offcuts, and some maple and cherry strips. I love that. Just two little squares of walnut. Whoa. Yeah. I did not think there was that much wood in that box. That is impressive. I like it. I was so, not expecting this project. This is this is one of the more unique ones that yeah. popped in the inbox. So again, segmented turning or whatever you want to call it, because we've got our little like cutting board um, off cuts. Mm -hmm. And then he turned that on the lathe and then made a base, made a top, and it's just a little plant holder. Yeah, I like how it holds the little vials of, mm -hmm. of the plants. And and like look at the look at the center um, piece, the support. It swirls like perfectly. Everything. The oh, pattern. I didn't even yeah. notice that. Do you see that? It's There's not just like blocky. It. There's a pattern and it swirls. Isn't that amazing? That's awesome. It's like a spiral staircase of cherry. Yeah. Oh, that's super up cool. the middle. That is beautiful, Matthew. 
This oh contest, can I just say, looking through these submissions, I had no idea this contest was going to be so hard to judge. Yeah. I, I, I honestly didn't expect to sell all the boxes, and much less I didn't expect to get this many, like, contestants back. This is hard. This is, yeah, all of these so far. But amazing. we're not done. No, we're not even close to done. <coughs> Next up we have James Simmons. So James Simmons started with Yells. broken walnut charcuterie boards. Happens. That I couldn't turn into charcuterie boards, so I threw them in the scrap bin. Happens. Um, we'll see and then he got more. a chunk of cherry. Oh yeah, a big fat too. chunk of cherry. Okay. So, okay. boom. It lights up. It lights up. That is awesome. It, it's a chessboard yes. that lights up. That is so cool. Isn't it? That's a genius way to use all those little squares. Look at the joinery. Yeah, it's dowel like, joinery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks really nice. And, and then on dowels. top of that, he made some really cool looking geometric clipboards. Clip yeah. So just again, with the scrap, again, like, very cool. so creative. Yeah. Literally just chunks of trash with a little bit of epoxy can make something that looks really cool. Yes. I want chess boxing to come back. You ever seen that? What? Yeah, it's like, no. it's boxing and chess. You do a round of boxing, and then you play a round of chess. Then you do a round of boxing, and then you. So you sit play down to play chess. chess, and you're like, <gasps> and can barely move all the little pieces. Yeah. Oh, nice. And if you knock out your opponent, have fun with that. Can you play chess with a concussion? I can't imagine you'd probably play, not. You'd play very good chess. I can if barely you had a concussion. play chess without a concussion. So, anyway, <laughs> great job, James. Absolutely <laughs> beautiful. Let us know when you set up your chess boxing tournament. Yeah. <laughs> The next is David McCabe. Ayo. Same David McCabe that made us this. He got another box for the contest and he made a video about it. So this is what he started with. He started with, he got a pretty like crazy box. It was just okay. a bunch of these giant chunks of cherry and maple. The giant chunks, I hate to throw those away because that's really good material. There's Fun. That's what he made. Cool. Sorry, it took me a second to like take it all in I what know. it was. I so, love the wine holder too. Yes, so that was out of the big chunk of cherry. He cut all that out. Okay, made okay. That. Um, and then he got another little tray for like coffee accoutrement. So he kept dropping his chapstick all over the shop. And so he made a little holder to That's hold the chapstick. Nice. I need that around the house. And uh, yeah, really great job, David. Go check out his video. Next, we have Charles Bailey. Okay. Um, I like how we pull out a, a measuring tape for reference just to show us like, hey, this is roughly like 16 inches worth of walnut um, squares. Yeah. So. All righty, let's take a see look. it. Brucey. <gasps> Hi. Hi. Do you want to come judge this competition? Who do you think should win, Brucey? Can we help you? <laughs> Good. Excellent. Excellent work. Moving on. <laughs> Anyways, without further ado, Charles Bailey's finished project. Oh, cool. Sorry, yeah. it took me a second to figure out what it was. Yeah. Very cool. It's a tote, so you can carry like bottle opener and then a little cap thing. That's nice. Very cool. Isn't that neat? Yes. A little grill and caddy. Oh, and there's a paper towel thing on the yeah. edge too. Very cool. I like that. Great job. This is really cool. If you guys are looking for something unique to sell, uh, like in your local town or community, these things, take them to sporting events um, and sell them Take for like tailgating. Take them to restaurants. Restaurants would love to have these on the table, especially if they have outdoor seating and depending on the weather, they need to get everything off the table quickly. If it stays in the caddy, then they're more likely to want to use it. So. This is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, great job, Charles. Great job on this. So next up we have Joey. Kay. And Joey had all this to work with. Again, there's a there's a theme here. There's cutting boards, cutting board pieces, and charcuterie board pieces. Yes, Pretty char standard. charcuterie chunks. So here is what Joey made. Oh, nice. Okay, so he made a few different things. He made a lot of different things. Wow. So. A lot of it is centered around like gaming and board yeah. games and tabletop games. So, um, so yeah, going from a, left to right. There's a dice tower. Okay. It looks like um, a little box to hold the dice. I like that. That's really cool. Yeah, I made this custom uh, engraved and poured epoxy inlay, and then a dice box with, and then he made two little walnut um, saucers to hold like game pieces. Yes. Which is really cool because you know, like those things always go everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's really nice to have stuff for that. So I feel like this could be sold as a whole set. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, you could definitely sell these as like one off pieces, like the dice tower and um, like the little uh, coaster looking things for your game pieces. But it'd be really cool if you bundled it all and maybe you give like, you know, five to ten dollars off if they buy everything all together. 
that'd be that'd be nice because then everything would match. Especially if somebody wanted it customized and you could laser engrave their family name on it or something. This yeah. would be an awesome, awesome gift for the people that love to play tabletop games. Yes. Next we have Alex. Okay. And Alex just wins an award for the best before photo. Yes, this is very organized. Very organized, very clean. He even, I cropped it out, but he's on a ladder to take this photo. Wow. So special mention to Alex for uh, putting in the extra effort for the before picture. That's what Alex made. Cool. He made a vanity tray, a jewelry okay. tray, a yeah. mallet, a really nice looking mallet too. Yeah. And uh, look at the curly figure of the maple. Yes. And then also a little trivet. Trivet? Trivet? Tri trivet? Tri tri trivet? How do you say it? I really like that because the more you look at it, the more you see the patterns he's stuck to. Like in the middle, middle there's one walnut Jenna's um, a sucker cross. for a good pattern. Yeah. This is an awesome yes, entry. Yes, this is beautiful. And again, all four things that you could sell. Next up, we got Jacob. So Jacob made this bowl out of a lot of the cutting board scraps that That's we had. That's awesome. So, he says he's going to figure out more ideas for the rest of the scraps, but the bowl was uh, what he entered for the contest. So. Yes, it looks really cool because it looks like it's, I mean, it is separate rings, but it looks like one, almost like a Rubik's cube. Like he's turned each layer mm -hmm. to be in a specific pattern. Beautiful. Looks really cool. Great job, Jacob. Next we have Nick. Ooh. Nick Vreeland. He made a rolling pin and matching cutting board for his wife, I believe. Very nice. I love that. It's his first rolling pin. He never made a rolling pin before. So. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. He went the extra mile. So we made our first rolling pin uh, with Bruce Ulrich. Do and only that? rolling our pin. Our first and only <laughs> rolling pin ever. I'm um, not allowed to use it. It sits as a decoration. No, it is decorative. He tried to use it once and I said, no. We Don't you tell our customers to use our cutting boards and they're like, no, it's too pretty. And then you do the same thing. Yeah. It's okay. You're great. Thanks. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> Did your parents ever tell you that? <laughs> no, this is beautiful. The rolling pin, I love the pattern. The board is beautiful. Again, this is something you could sell as a set. You could sell the board on its own, the um, rolling pin on its own, or if you tied them together with a nice piece of twine, all of a sudden it's a beautiful gift set. Because it's a set, people will think it's a higher perceived value and uh, you actually can sometimes have better luck selling things in sets instead of trying to sell them all individually. Oh, also one last thing about Nick's entry here. Um, his nine-year-old daughter loves the channel and she wanted to tell you hi. Hi, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> I don't know if you helped at all with the rolling pin and the cutting board, but if you did, great job. It looks look great. Amazing. So great job, Nick. And um, I think, is this the last one? Okay. That is the last one. <gasps> That's the last one? All right, so we have seen okay. all of the entries now, and now we have the very, very difficult job of trying to nail it down to, I don't know how we're gonna nail it down to first and second and third place, much less pick I know. one. So, so I have to pick my top three, and we have to pick our top three and then our top number one. All right, we've come to a decision. This was hard. This was really hard. Um, <laughs> we've literally been sitting here for like a long time. That's why we had to speed the video up. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to everybody who entered. You all made amazing projects. Every single yes. one of you could sell these things for a lot of money, like more than you probably think you could. Um, but that's the whole point of the challenge was to show you that you can turn someone else's trash into treasure. Literally, there are entire businesses and industries that operate off of someone else's garbage or waste product. Um, so just because it's not good enough for our specific cutting board doesn't mean it's bad lumber. All right, so the moment you've all been waiting for, third place, the second runner up. <laughs> yes. Receiving fame, glory, and bragging rights forever. Third place goes to Nick Hoda. Congratulations, man. Your vase was awesome. I think it was super creative that you were able to do that all in one string and keep it all one continuous piece. I, yes. I really think a, a customer would be really perplexed. And I love that you showcased uh, the beauty of the wood. Like it doesn't even, you can't even tell it's scrap. Like there's no cracks or anything like that. So yeah. um, I think you really showcased the, the wood well and made it the focal point and then also 
uh, you were super creative in your design and execution. So yep, congratulations, absolutely. Nick. Third place goes to you. All right, and second place, are you ready? First runner up goes to... Getting slightly more fame and glory than the third place winner. Mm, slightly more fame and glory. Matthew Hamilton. Matthew Hamilton. From Woodland Vines. Tell them what you like about this one. Okay, I really love the centerpiece of the table. I love how the pattern goes in one swirl all the way down. I know that takes a lot of thinking and planning on where you're gonna place each block. Not only do you have to think about that for the glue, but you have to think about what it's gonna look like once you get it onto the lathe and start carving it. Um, I thought the execution was amazing. It's really, really pretty. I love that he left one of the cracks in the base, just yeah. paying homage to the fact that it was scrap. So it was featured um, in a different way. And yeah. I just love this project. It's really creative, um, really different from anything else we had submitted. So. And I never thought that an entire table would be made from our box of scraps. So bonus points there for blowing our minds, making a table for a contest held by a table company. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Real creative there. <laughs> uh, no, I love it. No, but I love it. This is a great project. So thanks for your submission and congratulations on second place. Now the moment you've all been waiting for. The This was really tough. This was such a, a tough call. First place goes to... Ben, ben Van, Van Kirk. Kirk! Your luxury Jenga set is incredible. I would have never thought to use the scraps to make an entire set like this. Um, one, because it does take just so much sanding. And I feel like when I look at scraps, I'm like, I feel like I have to put the scraps back together. Like, hey, what can we use to put these scraps back into one creation? But he was like, let's divide it up even more. And I thought that was really cool. I love the use of epoxy. Um, it looks really nice when the light shines through it. So you've got a, bunch, a lot of depth. I thought this was a great use of epoxy. A lot of times epoxy is used as a focal point. I don't think that the epoxy is the focal point here. I think mm -hmm. it definitely adds to the wow factor, but I think the scrap is really what's showcased. The beauty of the wood is showcased, and it's just amplified by the beautiful epoxy pores. So um, really, really excited of how this came out. And congratulations, Ben. You're going to win that $250 gift card. We'll be in touch with you shortly. But we hope that this little contest has inspired you to think differently about your scrap wood. And about what things you can charge money for and sell. All of these projects, every single item that was submitted could be sold and you could make money off of. Um, and so I think it's really cool to keep in mind that just because you got you know some wood for free or that it's scrap wood doesn't mean that you have to like lowball the price because nobody else knows it's scrap wood. Clearly these projects do not look like scrap wood um, in any way, shape or form. If you're patient, willing to put in a little bit of work and follow your fears, there are opportunities all around you. So congratulations to the winners. Everybody watching, go ahead and hit the like button. And then after you do that, go to the comments and tell us who your favorite submission was. What project do you like best? And after that, just say something really encouraging um, to the person who built that project. It took a lot of time, effort, energy, blood, sweat, tears. These guys worked really hard and we want to make sure that they feel loved and supported. So do what you do and we will see you on the next one. Ask me how I do it. I just stick to the plan.